Hello. Today I'm going to solve you an example about Ergen's equation. The question is air at 394.3 Kelvin with dynamic viscosity of 2.27 times 10 to the minus 5 kilogram per meter per second flows through a packed bed of spherical particles having a diameter of 0.0127 meter. The bed void fraction is 40 uh, percent. Note that void fraction is the same as porosity. The bed uh, void fraction is 40 percent and the length of the packed bed is 3.66 meter. The air enters at 2.2 atmosphere absolute pressure at the rate of 2.45 kilogram per square meter per second based on the empty cross-sectional area of the bed. Calculate the pressure drop of air in the bed. Okay, so to solve this question, you have to first calculate the Reynolds number so that you can decide which equation to use depending on the value of the Reynolds number to calculate the pressure drop. Okay, so the Reynolds number for flow through the pack bed uh, uh, is defined as uh, Reynolds number equal to 1 divided by epsilon, that is the porosity, times the density of the fluid velocity particle diameter divided by viscosity okay so according to calculate Reynolds number according to this equation uh, you see you need to know the value of the density density of the fluid okay so here you are working with air so you can assume air is the same as or behaves as an ideal gas law so that you can use the ideal gas law um, to calculate the density that is rho f the density of the fluid is equal to the pressure divided by the gas constant times temperature okay and the gas constant r is equal to the universal gas constant divided by the molecular weight okay as you know the gas constant the universal gas constant rc uh, it is equal to uh, 8.314 okay when you are, when it is expressed in the unit of joule per Kelvin mole, okay? But this is not the unit that I want to work with because the pressure is expressed in the question in the, atmo in the unit of atmosphere. So if I work with this unit, that is cubic meter times atmosphere divided by Kelvin mole, for uh, for the RC, you will see the uh, the neck the, the rest of the calculation will be easier. Okay, so I wanted to uh, you express the universal gas constant with this unit, and uh, and the value of the universal gas constant with the, in this unit that is cubic meter atmosphere divided by Kelvin mole. You can find it uh, in thermodynamic tables, and 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 the value is equal to basically 8.2 times. 10 to the minus 5, okay, when it is expressed with this unit. Therefore, R will be equal to 8.2 times 10 to the minus 5 divided by molecular weight of the air is equal to, again, you can find this value from the tables, that is 28.97 times 10 to the minus 3, okay? So this one, the unit is cubic meter, atmosphere, Kelvin mole times for the molecular weight that is kilogram per mole so you need to write the inverse of that that is mole per uh, divided by kilogram okay and and therefore here so this mole will be out here therefore our value will be equal to uh, 2.83 times 10 to the minus 3 uh, cubic meter atmosphere uh, divided by Kelvin kilogram. Okay, uh, so now when you look at the definition of the density here, you have all the values. You have the pressure, you have the R, you calculated the R, and you have the temperature that is given in the question. So which all you need to do is to substitute these values to calculate the density. Therefore, density will be equal to 2.2 that's the pressure given in the question divided by r which you calculated here 2.83 times 10 to the minus 3 times the temperature that is again given in the question 394.3 okay and that will be equal to 1.97 kilogram per cubic meter okay so now if you look at the uh, definition of the Reynolds number here, so you have the rho f here, you have the epsilon, you have the, the viscosity, you have the particle uh, diameter, and you have the velocity as well. But here, the velocity should be expressed in the unit of meter per second. 
while the velocity that is given in the question is in the unit of, uh, it's not in the unit of meter per second, but in the unit of kilogram per uh, square meter per second, okay? So, uh, therefore, to, to express the velocity in the unit of meter per second, you need to divide that by the density, okay? Because kilogram per square meter second, if you divide it by, by density, that will be meter per second, right? So therefore here, Q will be equal to 2.45, that is given in the question, in the, unit, in, in the unit of kilogram per square meter per second, divided by 1.97, that is the density which you calculated here, and therefore the velocity will be 1.24 meter per second, okay? So now you have all the parameters to calculate your Reynolds number. Therefore Reynolds number, will be equal to 1 divided by 1 minus epsilon, which is 1 minus 0.4, times rho f, which you calculated as 1.97, times velocity, which you calculated as 1.24, uh, times particle diameter, which is given in the question, okay, divided by the density. Again, given in the question, that is 2.27 times 10 to the minus, Five. And here, the Reynolds number will be equal to 2278, okay? So now, since Reynolds number is, is larger than 10, therefore, you have to use Ergen equation, Ergen equation to calculate the pressure drop, okay? And, and so the rest of the quest, the rest of, rest of the solution is quite straightforward. All you need to do, you need to write down the, Reynolds, the Ergen's equation, that is delta P, over L will be equal to 180 times viscosity divided by dP square times 1 minus epsilon with the power of 2 divided by epsilon 3 times Q plus 7 divided by 4 rho F divided by dP times 1 minus epsilon, epsilon 3 times Q2, okay? When you look at this equation, you have all the parameters now. So all you need to do, you need to substitute these values, uh, the corresponding values in this equation. Therefore, delta P over L will be equal to 180 times, in a set of viscosity, I write 2.27 times 10 to the minus 5 divided by the diameter, that is 0 0.0127 with the power of 2 times 1 minus epsilon, that is 40%, with the power of 2, divided by 40% with the power of 3, plus the second part of the equation, uh, oh, sorry, this must be multiplied by Q, that is uh, 1.24, which we calculated here, plus the second part of the equation, which is 7, divided by 4, times density, 1.97, you calculated, divided by the particle diameter, that is 0, uh, 0.0127 times the poro 1 minus epsilon, which is the porosity, divided by porosity with the power of 3, times velocity uh, with the power of uh, 2, which is 1.24 with the power of 2, okay? And if you do this uh, calculation, the result will be equal to 4089.7. 4, 8 Pascal meter, okay? And that is delta P over L. Remember, the question was to calculate the pressure drop, okay? So therefore, the pressure drop, uh, delta P divided by the length, which is 3.66, again, given in the question, is equal to 4089.748. Therefore, from here, you can calculate, the, you can conclude that delta P will be equal to 40. 89.748 times the length 3.66, which will be equal to 14.5 kilopascal. And that's the solution to this question. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you are interested, feel free to subscribe into this channel so that you get updated when I upload new videos. Thank you.